welcome to my channel pharma companion today we'll discuss about the topic single shot vaccine which comes under the subject novel drug delivery system so let's start with the video vaccine vaccines are the preparation that is that are used to stimulate the body's immune response against diseases vaccines are usually administered through needle injection but some can be administered by mouth like polio vaccine or sprayed into the nose or topical A vaccine is generally a biological preparation that provides active ingredients, active immunity to a particular infection or malignant disease. So, vaccine, as we all know, vaccine is nothing but a preparation that consists of the viruses, antigen, or its specific amount of protein or inactivated viruses that are inserted on inside our body to stimulate the body's natural immunity. and thus by producing uh, antibodies against that particular protein or virus so how do vaccines work this is the general mechanism vaccines introduce safe of safe amount of antigens to the body like shown as shown in the diagram uh, which helps the immune system to recognize them as hostile and develop antibodies for the future infection so what are the type of vaccines types of vaccines include live attenuated vaccine as varicella example chicken pox bcg vaccine for tuberculosis and uh, inactivated vaccines example polio hepatitis a and rabies vaccine subunit or recombinant conjugate and polysaccharide vaccine example include hemophilus influenza conjugate vaccine hiv pneumococcal conjugate vaccine toxoid vaccines which include diphtheria and tetanus mrna vaccine including influenza flu and rabies viral vector vaccine consists of ebola virus vaccine so here live attenuated vaccine refers to the virus which is attenuated means it is inactivated before uh, formulating the vaccine example include varicella an inactivated vaccine is the second type of vaccine in which the virus is inactivated after making the formulation that's why it is called as inactivated an example is polio hepatitis a rabies vaccine subunit recombinant conjugate or polysaccharide vaccine in which the whole antigen is not used the virus's proteins are used their subunit are used a recombinant dna technology are used so that we could produce immunity against that virus next is toxoid vaccine which includes the toxins of the uh, viruses some viruses produce toxin some virus and bacteria produce toxin uh, that toxins are used to boost the immunity mrna vaccine contains the mrna of the uh, virus and that is used to improve the immunity viral vector vaccine in viral vector vaccine we use a vector vector means a transducer or a transporter that transports the virus into our body through a system it is called as vector viral vector vaccines example is ebola virus vaccine so let's begin with the topic single shot vaccine the concept of single shot vaccine is that due to prevent any disease by vaccination as in earlier traditional system multiple injection were used single shot vaccine are used to prevent four to six diseases in only single dose single the main concept of single shot vaccine is just to reduce the multiple dosing in the conventional dosage form and it consists of a prime component which is the main antigen with a suitable adjuvant and a microsphere component so that we can reduce the multiple dosing like prime dosing and extra dosing etc so that we can only give one dose single shot of a vaccine and it could prevent many diseases and it does not involve any type of booster or prime dose so adjuvant are used to increase the therapeutic efficacy microsphere components helps to encapsulate the antigen and provide booster immunization by delayed release antigen so microsphere by microsphere we mean here that the uh, antigen or the whole amount of vaccine is uh, formulated inside a small 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 microsphere these microspheres are inserted in our body which deliver the 
specific amount of vaccine within a specific period of time. So dextrans are ideal polymers to form biocompatible hydrogels. They do not degrade easily on a pH block and also dextran microspheres are used as protein delivery system. Some dextran based polymers are derived from uh, derived from hydroxyl ethyl methyl acrylate SMA. So how do we prepare single shot vaccine? This is the general procedure for preparation of single shot vaccine. So first the protein or the uh, antigen is inserted or mixed with the dexema. Dexema means dextran and hydroxy ethyl methyl acrylate. So which is then mixed with PEG which means polyethylene glycol. So these both PEG is a polymer. Dexema is also a type of uh, biopolymer. Both are mixed in aqueous solution and then phase separation occur then they are still vigorously on a on a defini defined rpm and after stirring the protein from the protein of or the antigen forms water in water emulsion and which undergoes polymerization to form microsphere suspension these microsphere suspensions are then washed and freeze dried to collect the gel type microsphere so this is the microscopic picture of the microspheres which are produced at high steering speed of 700 rpm. So adjuvants, earlier we discussed that adjuvants are used. So what are adjuvants? Adjuvants are added to increase therapeutic efficacy of vaccine. Adding an adjuvant triggers the immune system to become more sensitive to the vaccine. They form a depot of antigen at the site of inoculation with slow release of antigen. They improve perf the performance of vaccine by targeting antigen to the active pharmaceutical site. So what are the types of adjuvants? Generally two types are only used. Gel type example aluminum hydroxide and calcium phosphate. Oil type adjuvants include liposomes, biodegradable microspheres. So here the function of the adjuvant is just to deport or deliver the uh, vaccine or release the vaccine to the antigen presenting cell the cell which has to receive the antigen to which the antigen is presented the main work of adjuvant is just to deport the antigen to them uh, effect of biodegradable polymers as we know that biodegradability means that polymers could degrade inside the biological cavity or inside the human body so biodegradable polymers are defined as polymers that are comprised of monomers linked to one another through functional groups and have unstable links in the backbone. They are broken uh, down into bi biological molecules and metabolized by normal metabolic pathways. They do not cause any side effects or harmful effects inside the body cavity. So for formulation of single shot vaccine, some of the types of biodegradable polymers are used like natural polymers, example albumin, collagen, gelatin and synthetic biodegradable polymers like aliphatic polyester, pseudo polyamino acid and now what are the characteristics of adjuvant as we use adjuvant they uh, respond rapidly to the pathogen and they use less antigen and also they broaden the vaccine, vaccine response so characteristics of the biodegradable polymer first of all they are inert they should be inert so that they doesn't cause any type of bad effect inside our body and also they uh, wouldn't react uh, with the vaccine itself so they should be inert they should be permeable they should be non-toxic to the body they should be biocompatible they should have a tensile strength they should control they should be able to control the rate of degradation uh, in vivo study of this single shot vaccine uh, there was a vaccine named Octovax microsphere technology that was applied which helps to reduce the number of injections which give full protection against specific infection. Hepatitis B vaccination consists of two or th three injections which have a prime injection followed by two booster dose vaccination at 1 to 2 months and 3 to 12 months. So once they are given as a prime dose at single shot there is no need for any booster dose. They can prevent 4 to 6 disease at one time. They give the full therapeutic efficacy and it gradually increase its optimum concentration inside the body. So whenever the concentration become less, 
they increase the to this optimum concentration and slowly decrease the concentration so thus showing that therapeutic effect in the body these vaccines are slowly released into the blood stream they provide a long term effect against the specific infections or pathogens here in this sentence uh, i'll give a brief uh, description of this so whenever the concentration becomes very less they increase to this optimum concentration and slowly release slowly decrease the concentration that means that if uh, the function of the vaccine is over after a specific time and if the antigen again attack or if the virus again attack to the body then the immunity gradually increases due to the uh, increase in the concentration of the vaccine inside the body as it is released slowly so here you can see uh, the left graph represents the conventional form of vaccination and this first graph this left graph shows the conventional form of vaccination here three vaccinations are uh, vaccinated so first one prime uh, firstly prime dose is given and then after uh, then the concentration is uh, at the maximum level and then it gradually decreases with time at the time of the injection the concentration is at the maximum peak and after some time two or three months maybe a booster dose is required and after that after one or two years again a booster dose is required to increase the concentration of vaccine but in single shot vaccination as you can see once the dosage is given there is a uh, increase in concentration at the time of injection and after whenever mm, there is requirement of the uh, immunity against that particular virus there is gradual increase in the uh, concentration of the an uh, antigen inside the body sorry antibodies inside the body so that the uh, virus can be treated or virus can be killed so what are the factors affecting antigen release first of all polymer nature crystallinity then method of preparation how it is prepared molecular weight of the drug must be low and car carrier size and morphology there are also some adverse effect of single shot vaccination like any normal conventional type of vaccination like fever pain around injection site muscle ache and several or persistent headache blurred vision chest pain shortness of breath persistent abdominal pain these are some adverse effect but these generally do not occur only fever and pain occur advantages the, it is economic as no uh, no amount of booster dose is required and four to six infections can be prevented with one injection so it is convenient also and reduce frequent or repeated visit to the hospital some are the disadvantages like a uh, vaccine that utilizes live organism cause illness that is the disadvantage of conventional dosage form also or conventional vaccination also so vaccine may behave as super antigen on over stimulate the immune system this may be a factor uh, that may cause problem it is not effective as multi dose vaccine so for the conclusion the development of this single shot vaccine technology could contribute to increase in vaccination coverage worldwide by improving patient compliance and lowering the administration cost to achieve the innovation single shot vaccination must be rationally designed to facilitate this complex factors in the development and manufacturing process that have a significant influence on the efficacy of the immune response must be controlled precisely during the development and manufacturing phase so thank you so much for watching these are the references which i referred to and thank you so much nitin matthew for giving me this presentation thank you so much